Hey guys. Hi. Say hi. Hi. We are back with another video. And my lipstick. And she is showing off her lipstick. And what else do you have? My makeup. Where is your makeup? On the floor. Okay, go so, get it. Ooh. Show them what you're eating. Show them what you're eating. Tootsie roll, tootsie, tootsie, tootsie roll. Let me see that tootsie roll. No, no. Okay. But of course, she is my daughter. She is three years old, and her full name is Camille J. Chargaloff. We are currently um, just got done getting ready, and we're about to head out. But um, a little more about Camille. She just now starting to be in her um, three year old class. It's a pre-K one class, so it's like before pre-K. So she's in there now, and she's with the big kids. It's three to five year olds, so I'm kind of scared, but I just hope she does really well. And she really likes it, huh? You like being in your new class? She likes her new class. Um, Camille is very like she has a lot of personalities. I feel like she can be very. She's like me. She's kind of like shy, and she's like. She won't speak to just anyone, um, but she's outgoing. Like last night we were at the store. This girl was getting jiggy with the inside of the store. She was dancing because she's happy. When she's happy, she's just a, she's a ball of energy. Like so, if you don't know much about me or my life or anything like that, this is why we're here. And um, I'm just wanting to introduce her and let everyone know who she is. But of course, common sense. She's my daughter, but um, that's sour baby. I had to give her some candy so she can chill and relax. Oh, um, and today we're also going to go see her dad um, because he is in P-R-I-S-O-N. So, um, he's at work, right? Yeah. Yeah, and that's what I tell her because I don't know um, really how to go about it. So, she, she that's what she says and what she thinks. Um, but she's very smart, so I have to watch what I say around her. Uh, um, when he first went to J-A-I-L... Um, it was like when she was two, like actually like one and a half. So one and a half he went and then he eventually went to prison. So um, we haven't seen him in about a month because it's been crazy and busy. But today we actually have time and I'm just trying to get this video in before um, it gets any later. So I wanted to make the video and I don't try to, you know, keep her from from it or from anything she probably doesn't know like you know what is going on because i can't i can't tell her like i can't explain that to her she doesn't know what that is she's too young to understand but i feel like her seeing him is something that i should do because if i just don't do it she's gonna forget and i don't want her to get do out that, you know? um camille got her hair done today show me here she got her hair done by brenda yeah her favorite huh yeah so um brenda is one of my very good friends mother um she does hair so i'll link down below and i will um insert her insta and her facebook or whatever her social so if you ever want to get your hair done or um anything she got you um or where she works at too i'll put it down there so um in more detail or like a little more like since she's asleep and i can talk more since i'm driving so right now I'm on the way to the prison. Um, as I said, she doesn't know much about what's going on and what, what life her dad is living now. Or anybody has that has ever been through this, I would appreciate the advice or who has been through it or, you know, um, as far as your own kids uh, or, you know, um, nephews and nieces that have kind of gone through it um, I'd like to know how their parents have went about it because I don't my child is smaller and she doesn't know much she doesn't you know that kind of you know those kind of things she doesn't know about what jail is what prison is and what what are what are the reasons why a person goes you know to prison and, and why they do so much you know all of the backstory why they do so much time and why are they in there you know far away why are they far away doing what i think that i should do as far as like the present right now here and now like not thinking further um because of course 
if she gets older, I can explain it better and she'll understand. But, I mean, right now I can't do much. She's three years old, dude. Like, how do you tell that? You can't. There's no way for you to control that and to tell your three-year-old daughter, like, hey, your dad's in jail. He's in prison. She's like, what are you talking about? Like, she wouldn't even know what I'm saying. So, um, I mean, it's, it's just, it's risky. It's life. Things happen, like, we can't take nothing back. We can't, all we can do is look forward to the future and focus on what's happening now. Um, so we're just gonna have a good visit. Praying that we get there safely and that we make it and we make it back safely and I'm freaking hungry but it's gonna have to wait because I've already kind of wasted a little because it's drive so I have to like make sure I get down time and they close at five so I have to make sure that I make it before five but on another note oh my goodness all this music just came out Summer Walker Megan Thee Stallion um, my favorite, I don't know if a lot of y'all know about her, but Sabrina Claudio, oh my god, I love her. Um, like, for real, all this music just came out, and I'm just like, ah, like, my playlist is just back and forth from those, and then the triggered one, 21 Savage and Summer Walker, that one too, um, I can't think of what else, but A, we on that, I'm on that music right now, that's my playlist right now, I'm trying to get all them, uh, lyrics jotted in my head. I, I enjoy listening to music. I'm so upset that you can't really listen to music while you're on YouTube because... Well, I mean, I guess it, it doesn't really matter because it's better for you to, like, talk and communicate. You like, you know, get your words out without music interrupting in the back. before you like when, once you come in with your car you have to get your hood checked your trunk checked and you have to open all the four doors and you have to um they just got to look through you know the car and make sure you ain't got nothing that you don't need to be having and that's just what we did right now and um and then you go inside you check in and stuff like that and then all the other stuff and you go through the process and you visit them and then whatnot but i'll catch y'all later and I hope this video is interesting. If it's not, then at least I tried. So I'm about to take Camille out the car seat. I have to wake her up. Baby, wake up. You wanna go see your daddy? Ready to go see your daddy? Come on, let's go see your daddy. She hates being woken up. You ready? Did you have a good nap? <laughs> Ooh, stretch. You ready? Okay, 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 okay. It's all right. It's all right. Hold on, hold on. So, guys, I kind of thought this was going to happen. I was wearing pants with um, holes in them, and that was a no-go. They told me to change. So, I kind of knew it. That's why I brought extra pants, because I already know how this goes. So, they kind of do that at the, the jail. Kind of can't wear, like, certain things, so I kind of already knew you can't wear certain things and i bet over here it's more strict so oh, i had to come change in my other pants that i brought just in case i brought them i knew already i already knew well i always bring i always bring extra clothes just in case because you don't know what they're gonna say of course you can't come up here in no crop top and no sh booty shorts because <laughs> regarding all look at you funny like what you doing here this is not a place to be like that's common sense so I know to wear pants, but then like, I didn't know if the jeans were okay or not, but, so yeah. But, we're gonna go now again, try this again. We should be good, so I'll catch y'all later. Hey guys, we just got out of the visitation. It was pretty good. This is my daddy. Yeah, I went to see your daddy. Um, it went good. It always flies by so fast, I feel like. Um, when you spend time with someone that you haven't really seen or you don't get to see often, the time, like, people don't realize time is everything. And when you don't get to spend that time with someone, you're kind of just like, dang, like, 
you appreciate the things and the time that you did have with someone, you know, a long time ago, or your father, your sister, your brother, um, your, you know, whatever, your friend, like, you don't appreciate them, no one appreciates anyone until they're gone, whether they're dead in the ground, or whether they're frozen, like, this is the only time someone misses you, and that's what's crazy, because nobody will check on you, nobody will mess with you, nobody will do anything of that sort to show love while people are here and while we have them but then they do when it's too late you know i've always appreciated everybody around me and sometimes i wouldn't like sometimes i won't i won't appreciate what i do have in front of my face or people and loved ones that um you know are around me and stuff and i'm not saying if somebody feels like they don't have someone i try to show people you know i'm here for you i got you you know you hurt i got you you feel you feel pain i got you you need someone to lean on i got you like i would be here for someone if they wanted me to you know because i know myself when i'm feeling down and out or when i feel like i don't got no one all i want is someone you know and i want someone sincere like and i'm saying this like friendships whatever family like whatever it may be i just feel like people don't try to love one another like and show compassion and be genuine and sincere with the love that they give out in this world because this world is an ugly place and I don't think anyone understands that like it is truly I've said that it has to be this way like things have to be like this because nobody wants to live this type of life but I mean it is what it is as they say so that's life and we cannot change things god does what he wants god is going to make the rules god is going to put people where that he wants them to be put you know that's 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 god's doing and we cannot question god's doing because he knows what's he knows what's best for us he knows what to do with us he knows what would be better for us like you feel like you cannot handle something or you feel like everything is just hurting you and bothering you and stressing you remember that there is not gonna always be a dark hole god will take you out of that hole and he will pull you out always I, i've been there done that i still do that that's me all the time i'm always just wondering when is this gonna stop when is this gonna end when is it gonna just go away sometimes it doesn't things just happen things happen for a reason God will do what he can to make you happy. Yes, there's a Mickey up there. Don't judge. Look at the sky, it's so beautiful. What's up guys? We just got two wings and more and we're finna chow down. We're finna eat some good food. Right, baby? Yeah. What did you want to eat? Hmm? Not doing that. Okay, but what do you want to eat right now? I want chicken and rice. That's what she wanted. So that's the first thing that comes to my head. Um, so yeah, we about to eat some wings and chicken and fries and whatnot. Um, wait. Come here, look. Show your shoes. Show your shoes. So me and Camille are wearing the same shoes, right? Hey, catch us. Hey. <laughs> He got one. Come on. So we're about to go eat some food. Right, baby? Yeah. Right? I got one. I got one. Hey. We're like halfway done. Dance, baby. Thumbs up. You like your food? Your food good? What is that? So we're just gonna end the video right here. Just make sure you like, subscribe, and comment down below. And we will be back with more videos. Thank you. We're coming back. We're gonna come back. <laughs>